Hey y'all, welcome to Friday's Kitchen. Welcome back if you have been here before. In today's video, we are back with another subscriber request. It was requested that I make a cotton candy pound cake. I decided to make it a cotton candy crunch cream cheese pound cake. If you guys are interested in seeing how I made it, stay tuned. Also, while you're here, I ask that you please take a moment, look down below, press that subscribe button, join our family, and come back for some more recipes. So first you're gonna get started with the cotton candy crunch. In each of these bowls, I have 1 4th cup of all-purpose flour. To these bowls, I will be adding cheesecake pudding. You can use vanilla if you like. I just prefer the flavor of cheesecake, so that's what I'll be using. When I make crunch, I typically use one pudding, one jello gelatin. However, I couldn't find any cotton candy jello, so I opted to just use two puddings and I will be flavoring the puddings with this cotton candy flavor oil. So I'm gonna start by adding the pudding, one box of pudding to each of these bowls. Now I'm gonna stir until well combined. Now to each of these bowls, I will be adding 1 4th cup of melted butter. And I'm gonna go in with a couple drops of the cotton candy flavor. This is concentrated, so you don't need a whole lot. It smells so good. So I just went in with two drops. So I've added two drops of the oil to both. Now I'm gonna go in with color. I'm gonna use this rose pink for one bowl. And the other, I'm going to use the sky blue color. I'm gonna go ahead and add some to the butter portion just so it'll be easier to mix and I don't have to go in and work so hard after the fact. So I'm gonna put a couple drops of pink in here. Here I'm gonna take a toothpick. Just get some out like that and add it. And we're gonna go ahead and mix this bowl. I am gonna end up having to go in with my hand just to break this up and get that blue color mixed in well. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and mix the pink bowl as well. And then once everything is combined, if I find that I need to add more color, I can. All right, so oops. I'm just going to go in with my hand and mix it together. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in with a little more blue color to this bowl. Here, I have another toothpick. I'm not gonna add too, too much. Okay, so this is the finished product of the blue. I'm happy with this color. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and we're gonna start to work in the pink. I don't want this clip to be super long, so I'm going to turn the camera off, continue to work this in off camera, and then I'll be back to show you guys what the finished product looks like. Okay, so we are finished with the pink, and this is what it looks like. The oven has been preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to clean up my mess really quickly, grab my cookie sheet and parchment paper, and we'll be right back. So here I have a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. I'm gonna take my blue mixture and put it on one half. Now we have our pink mixture. I'm gonna place that on the other half. All 
All right, so again, the oven has been preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna place this in the oven and bake it for seven minutes. It will easily and quickly burn, so it's important to time it and not leave it in any longer. So I'm gonna put this in the oven and I'll see you guys when we take it out. So here's the crunch right out of the oven. We're gonna let this completely cool. Okay, so the crunch has completely cooled. I'm just gonna take it and break it apart into this bowl. You can see there are some big chunks. I'm just gonna kind of crumble it as I add it to the bowl. And so now we're gonna go in with the pink right on top of this. Now I'm just gonna gently fold together. And just like that, we have our cotton candy crunch. We just started on the cake batter. The full recipe will be down below in the description box. I have my butter and cream cheese in the bowl. I'm gonna mix until well combined, and then I'm gonna go in with the granulated sugar. Once I add the granulated sugar, I'm gonna let the mixer run for five to 10 minutes until the mixture becomes nice and fluffy and lightens in color. And then we'll move on to adding the rest of our ingredients. So it's been about five minutes. To this, I'm going to add this bottle of cotton candy flavor oil. Hopefully it's focusing, you guys can see that. And then I'm going to turn the mixer back on and add our eggs one at a time. We're also gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're gonna add our eggs one at a time. So now I'm gonna scrape down the sides and bottom of the bowl just to make sure everything gets well combined. And then I'm going to go in with my flour mixture, which is the all-purpose flour, sea salt, and baking powder. All of those ingredients have been sifted together. Once we have the flour mixture well combined, we're going to split our batter in two. We'll color, color half of it blue and the other half pink. I'm gonna scrape down the sides and bottom of the bowl one more time. And then I'm going to remove half of the batter again. Okay, so I've removed about half of the cake batter. What's in the bowl, I'm going to add blue color to, and what I've removed, I'm gonna add pink color to.
All right, so we have our blue cake batter off camera. I'm gonna go ahead and color the other half pink and then we'll be back to add our cake batter to the cake pan. So here we have the pan that we are going to use to bake the cake. I am going to start by generously spraying with pan baking spray. Here we have our blue batter, and here we have our pink. So I'm just going to alternately add to the pan, and then when everything is in there, I'm going to use a skewer and kind of swirl around. I'm doing the swirl motion. I'm being careful not to touch the bottom of the pan or the sides of the pan when I do this because I don't want to scrape away any of that pan baking spray. Okay, so our pan is prepared. The oven has been preheated to 300 degrees and this will bake for about an hour and a half. I will adjust that time if needed, but as always, I'll let you guys know exactly how long it takes in my oven when I remove it. Here's the cake after one hour, 30 minutes in the oven. I'm going to let it hang out in the pan for about 10 minutes, and then I'll be back to turn it out onto a cake board. So our cake has been cooling for 10 minutes. I'm now going to turn it out onto a cake board. Okay, so we are gonna leave the cake here to completely cool and then we'll be back to decorate. Now we're gonna get started on the cream cheese icing. The recipe for this too will be down below in the description box. In our bowl, we have the butter and the cream cheese. I'm gonna add a splash of vanilla extract and then a splash of the cotton candy flavor. So I'm gonna turn the mixer on, mix until well combined, add the powdered sugar, and then we'll be back to color the icing blue. Our icing is done. I'm going to add this to a piping bag and it'll be ready when it's time to decorate the cake. So our cake has cooled. I am now going to ice with the cream cheese icing we made earlier. I put it in the piping bag because I am going to pipe some rosettes at some point, but now we're just going to cover the cake so that the crunch has something to stick to. So I'm just putting some of the icing on top to spread around the cake. It doesn't have to be pretty. Again, this is just for the crunch to stick to the cake. Now that we have our cake covered, I'm now going to go through and press the cotton candy crunch all around the cake. This part is gonna get a little messy.
All right, so let me take a second and clean up this mess and then we'll be back with the next step. So now I'm gonna go through and pipe a few rosettes on top of the cake. Here I have a few macaroons. I did not make these myself. I purchased these from Publix. And I'm just gonna place in the center here. They're easy enough to make, but I only needed a few, so I didn't wanna go through the trouble of making any just for this cake. So we have those there. I couldn't find a package of cotton candy that only had pink and blue, so I found some that had other colors mixed in, and I went in and I removed the pink and blue cotton candy from the packaging, and I'm just gonna put that in the back of the cake. Just made it into a little ball. Let's sit this here. Actually, I'm gonna put a dollop of icing underneath to kind of hold the cotton candy in place. Now, if you decide to make this cake, I wouldn't do it until I was pretty, add the cotton candy until I was pretty much ready to serve because we all know what happens to cotton candy as it sits out, especially once moisture hits it, like this right here. All right, so now it'll be held in place. So our final touch will be to go through and add some of this disco dust. Disco dust is like an edible glitter and this is a combination of pink and blue. It kind of looks purple since I've added both in the bottle. But we're gonna go through and just spray and it should add a little shimmer to the cake. Hopefully I'll be able to catch that on camera as I show you guys the finished product. I can see it myself now but it is sometimes hard to pick up on camera. I'm taking that off, I'm just gonna carefully sprinkle on top, just so I can get a little more. Make sure you guys can see it on camera. All right, so let me clean up my mess really quickly and then I'll bring you guys back for a closer shot. We have made it to the end of the video. Here we have our finished product, our cotton candy crunch cream cheese pound cake. I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions about anything I've done, leave them down below in the comment section. I will reply. This cake was really, really good. It tastes almost like a vanilla birthday cake flavor it does have a little something different in there which i'm guessing is the cotton candy flavor but i can't quite put my finger on it but it does taste really really good so if you guys decide to give this recipe a try be sure to come back and let me know what you think while you're here i ask that you please take a moment look down below press that subscribe button join our family come back for some more recipes if you enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up before you leave as always i thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you in the next video.